night, everybody. Welcome to episode 331 of Psycho's Platters, always powered by coffee each and every time. So, I've got my Rolling Stones 2006 tour shirt on. Why do I happen to have my tour shirt on from the Stones? Because we're going to talk about this today. That's right. I know I'm slightly late to the game here. I'm sorry. But it took a while for this to get here. So, Rolling Stones 2 CD Deluxe Edition <laughs> of the 40th anniversary of the 1981 album Tattoo You. That's right. That is right. So, this is what the packaging looks like. Alright. You've got a neat little booklet that goes off and shows you some pictures and talks about things. This is probably one of my favorite Cool Stones pictures from that era. And uh, here's, here's a couple more for you. But, so, this album was originally, the original album was released in August 1981. Now, this edition, this two CD edition, comes with nine previously unreleased tracks on the second disc. All right. There is a super deluxe edition that's out there uh, that happens to have a complete June 1982 still life tour date from Wembley, if you're interested in that as well. So, <clears throat> the original album on here for the tracks they had at Start Me Up, Hang Fire, Slave, Little TNA, Black Limousine, Neighbors, Worried About You, Tops, Heaven, No Use in Crying, and ending it off with Waiting on a Friend. Now, Jagger and Richards pretty much wrote all of this stuff, except that there was two co-writes with Ron Wood on Black Limousine and No Use in Crying. Basically, and, and by the way, all my research gleaned from the Rolling Stones official website, Rolling Stone magazine, and a couple Rolling Stone um, fan page sites. Okay. So this album was a patchwork of outtakes, some going back to late 1972. Uh, two of these tracks were basically goat's head soup outtakes. All the way up to late 1980, four of these tracks were emotional rescue outtakes. Mick and Keith weren't exactly getting along, but there was plans for a tour coming up and they needed an album um, to go on tour. It went back into the vaults and this is how we get this album. Um, in late 1980 and late spring 1981, Mick Jagger did his vocal overdubs and Sonny Rollins' sax work is done on three tracks, mostly prominent on Slave and Waiting on a Friend. I still couldn't believe, truthfully, that uh, all those awesome outtakes were in that vault to make such a great album as this. Seriously, this is like <clears throat> one of my favorite albums in the Stones catalog, period. <clears throat> okay, so, alright, your typical Rolling Stones lineup is on here. Mick Taylor does show up on Tops and Waiting on a Friend is on those. You also have additional to the cast of characters. You have Nicky Hopkins, you have the Sixth Stone, Ian Stewart, Billy Preston is on here. Wayne Perkins plays guitar on here. Wayne Perkins was on the short list um, of auditions to replace leaving Rolling Stone Mick Taylor in uh, January 75. Uh, Pete Townsend actually does backing vocals on Slave. Uh, and of course, like I said before, Sonny Rollins does sax work on three tracks. And Sugar Blue, excellent blues harmonica player, is also on here too, and others. Now, uh, the single Start Me Up went up to number two on the Billboard charts, followed by Waiting on a Friend, which was number 13, and Hang Fire squeaked in in the top 20 at number 20. Uh, Tattoo You was the last number one in the U.S. for Rolling Stones album releases. So, what's on the second disc, maybe you're asking me. And by the way, honest to God, even 
The second disc is full of cool outtakes, okay? And after I get done telling you um, about these, I'm, I kind of have a slight question as to why it was done. So, second disc, the single that came off of here, yeah, the single, uh, Living in the Heart of Love, uh, which was a rock, it's only rock and roll outtake from 74. That was the one single that was released before this two CD special edition. Fiji Jim from 1978, Troubles a Comin' uh, from 79, Shame Shame Shame, which was a uh, 1963 Jimmy Reed cover um, that was done in 1978 as a Some, Some Girls outtake, um, Drift Away, the uh, Dolby Gray song um, recorded in 74 also for possible inclusion in its own only rock and roll. Uh, Come to the Ball was the only one I couldn't figure out the release date on that one. Still cool. And uh, Fast Talk and Slow Walking from uh, 72. And lastly, we finish off the disc with Start Me Up early version, which which the early version's good, um, but not great like the recorded version was. I, just, I like being able to hear uh, works in progress uh, to see how the tunes are fleshed out. Um, sometimes they start out being something totally different than what the release version ends up. And to me, I always find that fascinating. Um, but this early version, you, you hear the uh, you hear the kernels, the, you know, the seeds of what ends up being released. It's, it's just slightly different funkier, if, that, if I make any sense. So, um, my little question for you uh, is this. Are you going to get this? Because I'm telling you, if you're a Stones fan and, and you don't happen to have this on CD, I behoove you, yes, I behoove you to get this 2 CD Deluxe Edition because the sound on this thing is really, really nice. And the second disc, you get all those little bonuses on there. Which, pardon me for throwing this in there, um, because some of this stuff um, landed on that second disc, does that mean that the Stones aren't going to do a deluxe edition on its only rock and roll? Because I thought I heard there wasn't too many extra tracks recorded during that album. So, I don't know. If you know, please please put it in the comments. Um, also put it in the comments, are you going to get this album? What edition are you going to get if you are going to get this album? Um, what is, you know, what is your favorite track off of Tattoo You? Um, and what is your favorite Rolling Stones track or Rolling Stones album you like? So, uh, you can get this reasonably priced. Uh, I'll put in the link uh, from Rolling Stones' uh, website. You can get it pretty decently priced there. And there are other outlets, too. Once again, you guys, as usual, you take care. God bless. Rock on. Always powered by coffee each and every time. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Take care. And thank you, Rolling Stones.